best of the rest. After Saturday's qualifying, the top 15 were set for the Grand Prix of Lithuania. The rest of the 29 pilots had to go through Sunday morning's qualifying race to get one of the five remaining spots on the grid. Owen Jelf, starting from pole, went straight into the lead of the 15-lap race, challenged by Latvian Uwe Slakteris. At the end, Jelf took home the win, followed by Slakteris on second and Mette Bjergnes on third, who defended her position throughout the race against Hector Lopez, who tried everything to pass the Norwegian pilot. On fifth and final qualified came French pilot Philip Thor. Quick but unlucky, part one. After his crash in Saturday's free practice, Nick Bisterfeld was ready to race again. But right before the start of the qualifying race, he had to retire with technical issues. Quick but unlucky part 2 For new star pilot Konstantin Ustinov, it looked like a safe run to qualify for the race. But being on third spot in the qualifying race, he hit the spray of Uwe Slakteris and lost control of his boat. So one more to drop out of the qualifying race and losing the chance to start at the Lithuanian Grand Prix. Grand Prix Facts It's the first round of the 2018 Formula 2 World Championship in Kaunas, Lithuania. 20 pilots are qualified for the 38-lap race. The race course, 2 kilometers long, with a 690-meter main straight. 5 turns, 4 left and 1 right-hander. On pole position, the Italian Alberto Comparato. Trouble in the turn. At the beginning of the Grand Prix, Hector Lopez and Frode Sundstahl had a route come together at the turn while fighting for 13th spot. Lopez rolled over and his race came to an immediate end. Sundstahl could continue with a damaged boat. At the end, he finished the race on 11th spot. Close racing. Brent Dillard, who started from second on the grid, seemed to lose everything when his engine didn't fire up at the start. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened, but I hit the starter and it, it just didn't start. It just took a while for it to start. I hit the starter about three times on the fourth time, it finally fired. And then I was just like a madman coming through the field. I was just so angry and I just wanted to get up there. So Dillard had to work his way through the whole field. And he did in a spectacular way. Dillard went all the way up from last to sixth position. In the final stages of the Grand Prix, it was to be as Mintikas on fifth spot appearing right in front of Dillard. And this was probably the most intense fight for positions of the Lithuanian Grand Prix. Dillard tried everything to get past Muntikas, but couldn't really find an answer. At the end, Muntikas crossed the finish line just seven tenths of a second ahead of Dillard. Yeah, it was quite hard. He pushed all the time and uh, yeah, we had a hard fight. But uh, in the end, I, uh, I beat him, so I'm happy. Start-finish victory. Starting from pole position, Alberto Comparato, boat number seven, went right into the lead followed by Stefan Hagen and Edgaras Ryabko. Comparato could build up a small gap to Hagen, but still, everything was possible between those three on top of the field. At the first restart, Comparato could stay in front. Also, Hagen kept his second spot with Ryabko on third. When Abu Dhabi pilot Rashid Altair barrel rolled at the far turn, yellow came up again. Altair's race was over. But at the restart, Edgaras Ryabko took his chance and passed Hagen for second. Comparato still in the lead. Towards the end of the race, Ryabko started to push hard and close the gap to Comparato. But at the end, the Italian took the win home in this 2018 season opener. His second career victory. Yes, finally we are fast, not like last year, but okay. We work hard in, uh, in the winter and that's the result. Local hero Edgaras Ryabko came second. Ryabko's second podium finish at his home Grand Prix in a row. Finally on the podium on third position after trying... <laughs> the past years came German Stefan Hagen. Yes, of course, I'm very happy with the result. 
Uh, I lost one position in a restart, but uh, okay, it, uh, next time uh, I will be on this position and uh, we keep fighting. The first race of the season met all expectations. It was an action-packed and close race till the finish line. If you want more, stay tuned for the next round, the Grand Prix of Denmark in Aalborg. Wow, 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 wow.